peace and blessings. You may wonder why I have a book bag on my chest. It's because I have a strict rule. No logos, no logos. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, right? Um, New York City recently took a step back. And this video is just to show that when you plant a good seed out there in the universe, it really can manifest. Like, I'm actually glad to hear what I heard on 1010 Wins this morning because it shows me that my dream is ever so closer to coming true. Because, you know, you know, I want to be like an urban farmer and I want to protect cows and I would prefer to do it in an urban environment because in the urban environment, you have a high population of people who need to be fed and it would just behoove the environment in so many ways and our spiritual energy if it would clean up the environment too if we could protect some cows within the borders of New York City or at least very, very close to New York City. So I'm listening to 1010 Winds and this is how I know my, my plan, because I made a video before talking about, I would like to talk to the mayor and I wanted them to allow me to have cows within the city limits because you can't have farm animals within the city limits. But well, fortunately, New York City has decided to take a step back. And sometimes, just like I was telling my lady, sometimes you got to take a step back to take a step forward. So, you know, that's the natural progression of life, just like waves of the sea. They don't just come in as one straight line. This is not scalar energy. Waves go up and down, up and down, but eventually they reach their destination. Okay, good. So the reason why I'm saying this and why I sound like I'm in a rush is because I am in a rush. So... New York City at Riverside Park. There's a park uptown called Riverside Park. It's on the western part of New York City. In other words, if you go towards the Hudson River and if you find yourself anywhere near Harlem, if you look towards the city, you will see a park and that's Riverside Park. Do you know that they're putting goats in the park? Yeah, apparently there's too many bushes up there. You know what I'm saying? So some guy with like, I don't know, 300 goats or whatever, is they got the place wired off with five feet of wire. I want to go see it because apparently they're, they're allowing this guy to have a flock of goats in Riverside Park from now till I believe September. And they're estimating that by that time, the goats will actually clear away all of the bushes and the weeds that are up there. Isn't that an amazing thought? That you could um you could save money, time, and resources just by having animals do the work for you and not in an abusive fashion. So that's what I mean. It's like that's just the beginning. Just to see goats in New York City. It's not that they're running wild. It's not a flock of wild goats in Brooklyn knocking people over or robbing people. Like when I talk about those kind of goats, not the ram goat with regular goat, not ram goat, okay? But even if it is ram goats. <laughs> 